Hello and welcome to another Applied Energy 6.2 video. In this quick tip, I will show you how to order or to store a specific amount of, uh, of auto-crafted parts or items uh, in your network. For example, I have only 10 of each processor, but what if I use up those 10 for something and then next time I'll craft I have to wait for 10 new ones or 20 new ones. So wouldn't it be better if I had a way to always have 32 of each in the system? And when I craft them, uh, when I use them for crafting, they will automatically uh, order new ones. No problem. So just make sure that you have enough material in the system, because it won't work <laughs> otherwise. And place one interface and one storage bus. That's almost everything. You need the crafting card upgrade as well. And I will just demonstrate what this means. Let's say I have place one logic processor here in the config. Then the interface will keep one processor here at all times. Well, it will try to at least. If I place a few more it will export those. And these eight over there they can still be reached from from this side. If I take out all those 10 and walk over here, it will try to put 8 there, but it, it won't go. If I put, place 10, it will sort so there are 8 and the rest are in the system. But we want 32, right? We can only have 10. That's when we get the crafting card. This will give the interface the power to, or the, <laughs> the power, to uh, order crafting for this specific item. And you can see it's already running, you can see it over here as well. 21 are ordered. And these things are working full time with crafting silicon and the printed uh, logic circuit. And this subscriber is producing the the final step to make the, cal the logic processor. And I can do the same thing with the other processors as well, calculation and engineering. And as soon as we're finished with this, I will, uh, the, the next job will be ordered from the interface. Let's have a look. Okay, we're closing in. We are almost at the yeah, we're at the final final processor. You can see these one are empty and we just made the last one and there we got the last uh, the, the next order of uh, calculation processors. And if you look at the interface, now we have 32 logic processors stored and we have the calculations. Yeah, they are slowly filling up. And if we take a look in the crafting terminal, we have all 32 logic ones here and the calculations are filling up. So that's how you do it to have always keep a specific number of items that you can auto craft in your system. If you have any questions about this setup, check the video description. I have a link there to where I discussed this setup. So that's everything you need to know about that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.